Hey everyone, it's Julie from cookedbyjulie.com. Today we're making salted caramel apple cake in collaboration with Dame Drops Entertainment. So let's hurry and get started. You're going to need some apples. I used three gala apples. I shredded all three apples, but feel free to shred two apples and dice one if you'd like. I just prefer to shred them all. In a bowl, you want to mix all of the wet ingredients, which include the apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, eggs, melted butter, and vanilla extract. Although I added the butter in slowly a little later, right now, because it was still a bit warm and I didn't want to scramble the eggs. There's the vanilla extract, give everything a good mix. Now you want to add in the all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. You don't want to over mix, just mix it for like a couple of seconds until everything is well incorporated. And then you want to distribute the batter amongst the three eight inch cake pans. I baked the cakes for about 27 minutes and I then let them cool completely before frosting. I frosted the cake with cream cheese frosting. I have the complete recipe and written instructions for this cake, the caramel, and the frosting over on my website cookedbyjulie.com. Now you may add a little bit of cinnamon to the cream cheese frosting or even make a caramel buttercream, but my favorite is a regular plain cream cheese frosting. So you want to add about a half cup of frosting to the first layer. I used an offset spatula to even it out. Be gentle, especially if you're using a little bit of frosting or else you're going to get those crumbs in the frosting that nobody likes to see. I could have used a little bit more frosting here, but I, to be completely honest, I don't like too much frosting on the cake. But in order to get it nice and pretty, definitely use a good amount of frosting in between the layers. Go ahead and add some caramel, as much or as little as you'd like. Now I did post the complete recipe for this homemade caramel. I even uploaded a video showing how to make this delicious caramel. But if you don't feel like making it, no worries. You can buy regular caramel and add some salt to it if you can't find any salted caramel. However, it's super easy to make at home. Requires four ingredients, salted butter, sugar, heavy cream, and salt. That's it. Definitely much more economical to make at home. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the steps. Cream cheese frosting, some caramel, and as you saw, the way I drizzled that caramel was ridiculous and pathetic, but I am not a pastry chef, just putting it out there. So ridiculous. Alright, so then this is the final layer, and now you just want to place all of the remaining frosting on top, and then decorate as best you can. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not a pastry chef, but that doesn't stop me from trying, okay? So now these naked cakes are in style, which are great for people like me who are terrible cake decorators, because anybody can do this. Although there are some naked cakes that look amazing, this is not one of them, and I know that before you remind me, but like I said, they're in style and they're perfect for people that can't decorate. So all I did was this, as you can see, that's best I can describe it, just doing this and that. You basically just want to scrape all of the frosting off and leave some behind. It's very easy and almost therapeutic. If you have some music in the background and a glass of wine, good stuff. Go ahead and add some caramel on top. And then let me describe this cake for you. It's super moist and dense. It is not a light and airy cake. It's very moist and you definitely taste the apples and cinnamon. It's sweet, but the salted caramel makes this perfect. You can certainly add walnuts or pecans if you'd like. Put the caramel all over the top if you'd like. Serve this with some coffee or milk. The choice is yours. Whatever you do, make sure to make this for Thanksgiving, Christmas. You and your family will love this cake. It was so moist and delicious. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I want to thank you guys so much for watching.